Hey everybody, I'm Aaron Heller from On Scene Training Associates. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about perspective. Uh, perspective is something different through everybody's eyes. How you see something, how you look at, look at what's going on around you, and what's your perspective about it. So uh, I got to listen to a guy talk about it last weekend. Jared Siegel from Diablo Construction spoke at New England Fools and, and he talked about his perspective. Talked about being at the bottom and looking up. And, and thinking, hell, I'm at the very bottom, I can get better, right? Well, not everybody hits rock bottom, thank God, and uh, we pray that we never do. So we have to look at things from everybody's perspective in the firehouse, but most importantly, your own, right? I look at it this way. I've been blessed. I've been given the opportunity to put on that gear. I've been given the opportunity, right, to, to put on that badge, to put on this T-shirt, right? to instruct firefighters, to lead firefighters, to be side by side with firefighters. Right? To me, what a great life. It doesn't get any better than that, does it? We've got great great things in, in store for us. Today, I get the opportunity to go up to uh, Long Island, to Woodmere, Long Island, um, where legends have ridden those rigs. And I get to train them in some large area search with my buddy Artie Bloomer tonight, another awesome firefighter who's been there, done that, and, and has all the scars to prove it. Right. A place, place where a guy like, like Pete Lund was the fire chief, and then I get to go teach there. What a blessing, right? But the bottom line is, everybody has to look at things from their own perspective. See what's good for them. See where they want to be and see how they want to get there. And no, no personal development videos and series and all this other crap that you can see online and on social media is going to make that different for you, in my opinion. My opinion is it does come from within, and it's what you want. It comes from your mentors. It comes from the people that you're around, the people you don't want to let down. So we don't want to let down anybody. I don't want to let down myself. I don't want to let down those people I swore I was going to protect. I don't want to let down the brothers and sisters on the rig with me. right? I don't want to let down the mayor that maybe that, that pinned that badge to my chest many years ago. Okay, That's what this is about. So how do we get better? From my perspective, you train your ass off. You get out there. If you're on an engine, you get out and you practice the stretch. You know exactly what hose is on your rig, right? You know the distances. You know when you pull up, you can estimate properly, okay? You know the type of building that's in your district and how much hose it's going to take to get to the second floor rear if somebody's trapped back there and the truck's above doing a VES trying to find them, right? If you're on the truck, what do you know? You know what kind of roofs you normally have. You know what kind of laddering you're going to need, how to get the ladder to the back of the building, right? I just saw a good thing on, on uh, Instagram the other day. Uh, Brian Butler from Trenton put on there wanting, asking guys, what's, what's this? And it was a picture of a grocer's alley. So what is a grocer's alley, he asked. And, and it, it brought up a lot of ideas. A good truck company that has those in their community knows that's a good way to get, the, get a line and to get an, uh, a portable ladder to the back of the building, right? Maybe to get a quick 360. These are the things we have to be really proficient at. So I look at it again from perspective. Is it the guy who's out there on the engine room floor in the morning takes a good look around, sees what's on his rig, remembers why he does what he does, right? Or is it the person who's sitting in the recliner all day? Their perspective is, not going to happen. I don't need this. I already know it all. Whatever that case may be, for me, the bottom line is, you get out there, you drill, you get better. You get better serving your community. You get better serving the people with you, right? That's the key to the fire service. We keep improving our service. It's not, it's not going to go away. Fires are maybe down in some places, up in other places. But you just never know. Isn't that the great point about being in our business? You go to work and you do not know what's coming next. That's perfect for me. right? Whether, you're, whether it's all about your, your perspective on why you're doing this. Is it because I want the bravado? I want to say that I'm a tough guy firefighter? Is it because I want to be the one that gets the metal pinned to my chest? No, it's really not that, I hope, for most of us. It's because we get the ability to serve. We get to feel in that brotherhood and that sisterhood. That's what this is about. So get out there. Go to the conferences. Get training. You know, there's so many good things around. Vet out who you're learning from. Make sure that they've actually done something in their career and that they're not just a stuffed shirt, you know, not just a, a social media superstar. But get out there and do something and then share it with the brothers and sisters in the firehouse. I, I got the, the opportunity the other day to sit at a table in a little bar in Maine and talk with a sergeant from D.C., a firefighter from St. Louis, a captain from Alexandria, Virginia, and a bunch of guys from the Northeast. And it was awesome. 
I learned so much from them and we shared so many good stories. This is what the job's about. Keep passing it on. Keep sharing it. And from my perspective, don't ever let anybody tell you this ain't the greatest thing in the world. Have a great day.